What's up you guys? It's your casual clone and today we're going to be taking a look at the Spider-Man 60 Amazing Years Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man action figure. That is a lot to say. Try to say that three times fast. Now, here we have a brand new figure and as you guys can see, it's another plastic free packaging figure. This figure is based off of the first appearance of Spider-Man in the comics, which is why the Spider-Man looks the way he does. On the side, you can see Spider-Man and where he was first featured. This was the cover art of the comic back in the day. And this is the Spider-Man that the figure is based off of. As you guys can see, you have a digital render of the figure in the front here. Again, plastic free, so you don't get to see the actual product inside. So you have a nice pose of the digital render of the figure right here with the nice product shot again from the side behind the Spider-Man himself. And then you have that sort of cell shaded look thing at the top left and the bottom right. Then you have Amazing Fantasy right here in those really big yellow letters with Marvel at the top. I do enjoy that quite a lot. As uh, Hasbro right here, some legalese, not much going on. Again, for the left side of the box, you have the artwork again that he was first here or he first appeared in with Marvel Legends at the bottom. For the back, you have a different product shot of the digital render of the figure with the accessories shown on the right here. This is all the stuff that he comes with, with Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man at the top right. And then you have some more legalese at the bottom, something that we don't really care about. Again, Marvel Legends at the top left right there. And again, going back to the box, you have a product shot just straight up and down of the figure on the right side of the box with Marvel Legends at the top here. And at the bottom, not much going on right there. You have at the top here, you have the nice Spider-Man 60 Amazing Years sticker logo on there. I mean, it's it's printed, but it looks almost like a sticker. And that Spider-Man logo right there, really nice. Even though it's plastic free, I do kind of like the way they designed those boxes. Now, this is already it for the box. So let's try to take him out of the box and take a closer look at his accessories first, and then at the figure itself. Now for the figure, let's try to open it on the video here. Let me get my trusty knife. I am also recording this with my phone for the first time because my phone has a better video quality, I hope, than the, than the camera that I've been using. I think my knife is starting to get blunt. There we go. All right, let's try to get this. Oh, it's taped down here as well. Okay, I did not know that. All right, so for those who get this box, don't just rip it off. You have another tape strip at the bottom here. So let's take them out. And here we have the figure. Isn't that amazing? And his accessories. So let's take him out of his little cardboard prison and his little sandwich bag. There he is, get this out of the way. Let's take the accessories out first. It's not sealed with tape, so you can just basically open it up and just drop them all out. So he comes with, he comes with a good amount of accessories here. For the longer web, that also is included in this package. Right here, there it is. I am quite excited for him because he is a new mold. I, I believe he's, new, he's, a new, he's using a new body mold. So let's see, let's hope, before I take him out, let's hope that his paint application is better than the other Spider-Man that I got. Okay. There he is. comes with a bunch of ex exchangeable hands. He comes with three pairs of exchangeable hands for both of his arms. And he comes with, I guess, his web wings for both sides, obviously, and one web accessory. Now he comes with his little web crawling wall crawling hands right there really nice paint application he comes with this wall crawling hands very nicely detailed paint application is really good on this one he comes with those for both of his hands so this hand obviously as well then he comes with of course his thwipping hand as well for both sides really nicely done good line work no paint effects or very minimal ones then he comes as well with new hands that I haven't gotten yet. He comes with web holding hands. There is some slight paint effects right there, but that is okay. I could also remove that just with some acetone. Line work is really well done. Not something that would bother me too much. Again, he comes with that for both of his hands, as you guys can see right here. Now he also comes with his web wings. They just peg into his upper biceps 
on both of his arms so that you could recreate some of the shots from the comics where he just kind of glides through the air with his web wings. He comes with them collapsed and he comes with them extended as if he was actually gliding through the air. So that is really nice to have as an accessory, but he also comes with a sort of, I guess, with a web. Um, I'm not sure how I would use it yet, but he comes with that as well and he would be holding it right there, obviously with this web holding hands. Let me see if I can demonstrate that on here. So yeah, just kind of, it's just kind of like a hook. I mean, it looks pretty good though. I can de definitely see it working. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why it's all bent like this, but those are his accessories. So let's get his accessories out of the way and take a closer look at Spider-Man. So yeah, he's out of the box. He's looking really good. Paint application is a whole lot better than my Spider-Man's paint application. My other Spider-Man's that is from the two pack. So uh, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with his paint application and I like his design a lot as well. So uh, let's get right into articulation. I'm gonna, this is a bit of a different setup. Just kind of try to do it all in one go. So for his head, it is on a, uh, it is on a ball jointed peg, as you guys can see with a hinge at the bottom, which allows him to look up very far. I mean, that's a really good amount. You can get him in some really nice web swinging poses, I would say, also very far down. I mean, look at that, that looks great. Really cannot complain about that. Then he has some, well, some very, very slight tilt, but basically non-existent at all. That That is a bit of a moment that there's no tilt, but it, it doesn't bug me too much. At least we get some good up and down movement. He does have a butterfly joint, which is extremely stiff, but I mean, it works. Again, very stiff on my figure. I'm gonna have to loosen it up with some hot water. So that's nice. Then he does have a nice double jointed elbow pinless. If I can, I mean, if you get to move his shoulder piece right here, then uh, you can get him to have more range as well. But very far, very happy with that. That's a good result. Let me see if I can just kind of get that. There we go. Look at that, that's great. So that is sick. Going on over to his chest area, he has, I guess, I, I believe it's like a ball joint in the middle of his torso, which allows some nice hula hoop action. Really nice, some good hula hoop action. He does have a reverse ab crunch, which allows him to go that extra mile very far down, very nice. Also very far back, really great. Then he has, can he can kick up, oh, he can kick up very far that much. He has a upper thigh swivel as well, which is great. He does have double jointed pinless knees, which go very far down. He does have a thigh, or not a thigh, a chin rotation, I guess. Really nice. His feet go up very far, down very far, and of course, a beautiful, beautiful ankle pivot. What more could you ask for? And that is already his articulation. So yeah. Oh, he does have a really nice up and down action for both of his arms or hands, I guess. Really nice. So yeah, that was his articulation segment. Now, there are some slight issues with one of his accessories, or I guess two of his accessories, and that is the web wings. Now, these things are a bit of an issue for me, especially because the pegs, they're at the upper biceps for both of them, obviously, they do not hold up very well, which is a big problem for me. Now, let's take one of the web accessories here, and wanna and let's say we put him on his right or left biceps. First of all, it's it's difficult to figure out which one which they belong to. Now this is what he looks like with his web wings attached, or one of his web wings attached, and they're collapsed. It doesn't look good enough for me. It it just doesn't. I mean, if you stand him up like this, it just looks weird. I don't know. I don't like it. And it pops off. There we go. You can't do much. If you want to articulate this guy with the web wings, you're, you you have to be extremely, extremely careful and patient at the same time. They don't attach very easily and they don't stay. They just don't. No matter how, which way you slice it, they're not gonna stay on very well. From the, from the back, they look like this. And then from the front, they look like this when they're collapsed. As soon as I twist his upper biceps, it pops off. It, it just does. 
that's a big issue for me. I'm not going to be using his web wings as an accessory. I'm not going to be displaying him like this. So that's just something that you guys have to figure out for yourselves if you like it or not. But yeah, that's that's the one gripe I have about that. I hope you guys understand that. So uh, yeah, now for the final part, I wanted to compare him to some other Spider-Man that I currently own. Now here is the new Spider-Man next to the Spider-Man and Spinneret 2-pack Spider-Man with the toe articulated feet and also the pinless joints on the retro body, most of it. So you can see that he is significantly taller than the new Spidey, very much. It, it doesn't quite fit in the shot here. But you have him next to the new Spider-Man from the 2-pack. Then you have him next to Symbiote Suit Spider-Man. And for a final comparison, here he is next to a older Marvel <laughs> Legend. To next, he is next to Venom. The a, a little bit of an older version of a Marvel Legends Venom. But it is the only Venom I currently have. So uh, you can see that he's definitely a lot smaller. I think it's good for Venom because Venom is a lot bigger. So you can probably get some really cool shots in with this. But yeah, this is the comparison. And that concludes my review of the Marvel Legends 60th Anniversary Spider-Man Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man action figure. This guy is definitely a really awesome figure to add to my collection. I'm glad that we're getting more Spider-Man that are pinless and are more seamless looking. Again, there are some issues with the accessories. The accessories, especially the web accessories, they fall off of the pegs in his upper arms way too easily. That's definitely a problem. I, I think they could have handled that in a, a lot better way. Maybe use a actual fabric instead of giving us hard plastic pieces. I do enjoy the amount of hands that we get, exchange, the exchangeable hands that we get for this guy. They look really great. Paint application is mostly amazing on this dude. Not much to go off on there. But other than that, that was already the review to, uh, off of this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below what you thought about this review or this figure. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also put them down in the comments. I'll be sure to try to improve as best as I can and uh, always hit that bell to never miss out on any of my future reviews. And until then, auf Wiedersehen.